In a world of oppression, the different are looked down upon. But now, one man, one very different man, is the only one who can save us. He was discovered in 1977. He is one of the oldest living organisms on Earth. You can usually find him spending time in extreme conditions such as in volcanic vents or wherever danger calls. He may or may not have flagella. He reproduces asexually through mitosis and binary vision every 20 minutes to one hour. He is only one cell. He can live in temperatures higher than 100 degrees Celsius. He doesn't even need oxygen. He is a prokaryote. He is Archibacteria Man. He was created in a lab. He is controlled by one of the oldest bacteria we know of. And he is the only hope we have. Now, in a quest to save all life as we know it, he must also discover his true self. Sir, it seems we have a problem. What is it? It appears that scientists have managed to recover some of the archive bacteria for a human host. We are no longer the only ones. You bacteria man, we meet again. That we do! Why do we have to fight? Together we can do so much good in this world. Cause we're too different, and this world ain't big enough for the both of us. How are we different? I'm much more complex, and you're just a simple weakling. And we're, I'm also much more common. See? Clever boy. You may live in extreme conditions, but that doesn't mean you can survive a gun wound! Dead or alive, you're coming with me! For the crimes he has committed against nature, I declare him an outlaw! Mom, Dad, what is it? We fired a terrorist on daughter, but you are a clone of the Archibacteria over there, not me. I just adopted you. I'm so sorry. No! He may not have a nucleus or any membrane bound organelles, but he's gonna save the world. All the U bacteria with their thymine and muric acid will look up and shout, Save us! And I'll whisper, No.